Hello. I just wanted to address something that really bothers me quite a lot. Um, is Habitat for Humanity just the whole company itself, I guess? Um, what they put out on media is not the truth of who they are, what they do, how their programs run. Um, recently they just donated money. I don't remember if it was 50000 or 500000 I'm assuming 50000 but who knows. To a student for completing a paper assignment for some school or whatever. So they just donated this money, which any other situation I'd say it's great. Like, but they are so bankrupt and <laughs> it's just, it, their current families, like they're in the habitat houses, are being forced to potentially have to sell because their habitat has no money to keep those contracts, those mortgages. So they're trying to buy them out so that they can sell them. All the while, they're going and donating all this money to this kid instead of fixing their issue with their company, their organization. Um, recently also, not too recently as in this the school thing, but about six months ago, give or take, my family tried to sell our habitat house because of reasons I'll get into later. Um, the habitat has a 40, 45 day refusal period where once they've been told that the family wants to sell, they, yeah, they have that time, the 45 days to decide if they want to do it, if they want to buy it or not. And if they, if they obviously choose to buy it, they just, you know, let them know whenever between the period that they find out that the family wants to sell and the 45th day. And then that's that. But if they don't, if they refuse, then the homeowner either gets to sell privately or just continue living in the house and continue as nothing happened, basically. Because Obviously, if you can't sell, you know, where are you going to go? So, um, yeah, we told them roughly six months ago that we wanted to sell. They took the entire, it was 44 days and a half or something, something like that, that they took, and then they, after, um, Two or three, I believe. It was between two and three um, appraisals. They refused. And they knew they were going to refuse too. It was. <laughs> it wasn't like they were checking anything or whatever. Everything was done. They just. They waited to tell us. Um. So the first appraisal that we had was not a, uh, a licensed appraisal appraiser. 
Um, <laughs> it's funny thinking back all this stuff. But yeah, so he wasn't really a licensed appraiser, but he was the one that Habitat used for all of their appraisals. But because they didn't like what his appraisal was for our house, they gave an excuse to get a real appraiser in. Which is not normal. Um, so that happened, and that guy actually gave a higher appraise, appraisal <laughs> than uh, what their first, whatever the heck he does professionally, guy said. And they didn't like that. So that's obviously why they refused, because they couldn't afford to buy our house. And um, we got a high and a low estimate, as they do. Um, and then... Uh, so I'm just going to say this just because, like, it's not really related, but just to give a better understanding. We tried to buy a trailer within the last two, three months. And because we still had to sell this house, ours, from Habitat, we couldn't buy that one without a guaranteed sell in our house. So we used their seller for the trailer to kind of, if that goes through, hypothetically, you could have a sell, sell of our house type of thing. He appraised our house at even higher than what the two of the previous the habitat appraisers did. He wasn't being unrealistic. He was just, the market had slightly changed and he was being fair. <clears throat> but the fact that habitat didn't want to buy back our house for even the lowest end of the appraisal. But then they're gonna go and gift the student money. I'm not even like, I think it's great that like kids are getting help and whatnot and like and under, under any other circumstances, I would think that's amazing and I still think the fact that she got help or recognition was great. Like, she deserves it, from what I know of. Um, it's simply the fact that Habitat is in major debt and treating their current homeowners like shit. That doesn't sit well. Um, my, one of my former neighbors actually moved from their house, which is also a Habitat house, and the reasons were the exact same as the reasons we wanted to move my family. She was able to sell, and far more than for what our appraisals were, even on the high end. So she just got lucky, <laughs> and that was right before the time that Habitat started getting in trouble. Um, they've also completely switched over employee, staff, whatever. Um, their entire 
it's completely switched out. People have either quit or transferred out of the that region or um, done something else, retired, whatever. But the entire, I think there's two, maybe, people left, maybe. And they don't even have the same job title. They've switched them all around. But uh, that should say something too. Like, where'd they all go? And why'd they leave? Um, so, our sump pump has had, has had to be replaced four times since we've lived in this house. And it's obviously a habitat house, so it was built from the ground up. And as their saying goes, but with all new materials, brand new, which is obviously not true. Um, so we've been in this house for seven years now. Um, there's no way it should have need to be replaced. When it, w when it was taken out for the first time, the original one, it was already corroded and just water damage, rust. So it was far from new. Um, it overflows. We actually have had to like pitch water out from the basement because <laughs> it's it not sitting right in the um, the well. Uh, it's way too full the water level because our house was built on a water table and we're at the end of a hill so the our the hill and then our house is right here so all the water goes down to that hill. So we get flooded out all the time. The pump is constantly going too, which isn't normal either, it's just that's how much water there is. Um what else? They say to all the applicants that every house must be built with the same stuff because it's unfair and whatever else to give certain things to other families that others don't get even if you offer to pay for it because it's in the media it looks like whatever which is again not true because my family had to pay for our air conditioning, the whole like the air conditioning and the heating all that, like, same, you know. Um, we actually had to go a whole winter the first year we moved in without it because we couldn't get it booked. Um, It was, so yeah, we moved in in around, it was Christmas time, and we had to go all of December, and I believe all of January, so we might have had part of February that we got it, but anyway, um, my neighbor's house was built with that, it just, they gave it to them. Um, but not the original one. So, my neighbor, her family, moved out uh, three or four years ago now, something like that. Um, 
And then this other family came in, and that's when they did everything. Um, so she lived in that house for three or four years around there and that was all with just nothing like just the um the windows and they're the kind that uh the, the crank windows so they don't even open all the way <laughs> um but yeah so she lived with that and then for the new family they moved in when she sold her house back to Habitat. Um, they, um, they gave her built, not built, they gave their conditioning unit to the new family as a gift. Um, Our basement in our house is not finished. It's got the supporting beams and then they put like a little patch of drywall. Um, it's probably four to five feet long, that little area. And the, the width of the basement's like, uh, I'm gonna say four times that size, that length. But yeah, our basement isn't finished, and again, our neighbor's is, and it actually was for the first family too. Um, not really sure why, when they're all supposed to be built the same, with the same stuff in it. The layout isn't necessarily the same, it's actually quite different for a lot of houses. The areas, anemones inside, are all supposed to be the same. Um, our back porch is the smallest size back porch you can legally have. Um, and it has no railing. And all of our other neighbors, which four of our, on the same street, same side of the street, four other houses that are all habitat houses, all were built with bigger porches than ours. Yeah, um, our basement has cracks in it, the, in the floor, and it's not finished, so it's a cement floor. Um, We have a rough-in for a bathroom in the one end of our basement. They didn't finish it, just a rough-in. But the way they finished it from the contractors we've talked to, they might as well just have not done anything. Because what needs to be done to finish that off is too much work to make it worth roughing it in. It's just pointless. So we just have two stumps of pipe coming out of our floor for nothing. 
Um, not to mention our neighbor's house, the one right next to me, hers was built with a full bathroom in the basement that we don't have. Um, There's all these little things that... Hmm. So that the... Our house has two stories and a basement. So the top story, the second story, the floor has chips in it. It's a laminate flooring. And... Keep in mind, it's all supposed to be brand new, and they have one contractor, one head person that's that watches over the construction of it. So they, when we're going through to for the inspection, they show us this area of flooring, and they were like, they literally tell us that it would be too much work to take out the layers, like the interlocking layers of flooring to take out the chipped piece, which is a pretty decent size. And